Hey, what's up guys? Yeah, welcome back to a new tutorial now. Yeah, today I want to show you very shortly how to calculate the takeoff performance here in the AV20 fly-by-wire in MS2020. Yeah, first of all, please go to FlightSimTO and search for the landing performance calculator AV20. Then you will find this one here. Download it. So once you download it, you can extract it and open up. In case um, you don't have a program which can read this kind of file, I can recommend you to download OpenOffice, that's free. And it's working with kind of file like this. But it can take a little bit to open up. And now you need the shards of your airport where you want to depart. So I'm using Navigraph shards for it. So, yeah, you can see um, we need to set the runway heading. So, in this case, it's runway 22, uh, 23 and heading 227. So, you get set, set in here 227. The elevation, you can see here, Hamburg Airport, which is in Germany, by the way, has an elevation of 53 feet. So, you're gonna set this here in our elevation. Length is the runway length. So, you see. The runway has 3,250 meters. Gonna set that in here. And then you need to set wind currently here in your airport. So you're gonna check a meter. So you can see the current meter here is 220 degrees at 11 knots. So you're gonna set this here. Also temperature currently is 2 degrees Celsius. And the QNH is here 1008. Yeah, like you can see right now, it was snowing a little bit or a mix of rain and snow. So we're gonna set the runway condition to wet. And now you need to check your takeoff weight in the MCDU. So if you calculated everything correct with this um, zero fuel weight, you should have your take takeoff weight here currently. So in this case, it's 69.7 tons. This is uh, calculated for a flight from Hamburg to uh, Portugal, so Lisbon. So you can go back to your calculator. And since you can only put even numbers here, we're gonna set the 70 tons instead of 69.7. So you can decide if you want to do a flex takeoff or a toga takeoff. In this case, we're gonna use flex, and you can also decide if you want to use flaps one or higher. In this case, we're gonna also to use flaps one. And air conditioning, so the packs if they are on or not, and anti ice. We need anti ice today if you have below 10 degrees, and also, like we saw, some showers. So we're gonna set that on. And now, like you can see, it's calculating as a flex temperature of 44 degrees, flaps one and V1 137 and VR 150 and V2 151. So now we're gonna set that in here, flex temperature 44, V1 137, VR 150 and V2 151. So it saw, you saw it was flaps 1, so we're gonna set flaps 1. Now you need to check your center of gravity. So in this case it's 69, 26, so you're gonna check the pitch trim here, and you can see the CG, the center of gravity of 26, is around 0 0.1 or, uh, or I would say 0, 0.0 in this case. So you need to set up 0, 0.0. And now you have a calculated takeoff performance. We're gonna check it now and take off here in Hamburg. Alright, we are ready to go here on runway 23. You can see flex temperature 44 degrees and our pitch trim is set to 0, 0.0 like calculated and we have set flaps 1. So let's take off. Also we need of course our anti-ice and let's take off. Man flex 44 degrees as the one way out of first blue. Wait. 
press our V1 and rotate. Close of climbing gear. Alright guys, I hope I could help you now with this short tutorial here on the takeoff performance here on the AV20 flap away. And yeah, I wish you have fun flying with the AV20 flyaway and I hope to see you next time here in the stream on my channel. See you and bye bye.